I'm Carol Kelso, Thomasville today, right here in the unvacant lot. Do we have a program for you? You're going to have to stay seated. Do not get up. It's going to make your head spin. Right here, talking about Due South with none other than the Public Art Director for the Center for the Arts, Darlene Taylor. Welcome. Hi, how are you? I know we have a lot to cover, so let's get started. Why are we here in the unvacant lot? Well, everything happens in the unvacant lot, but <laughs> this year for the 14th annual Due South Art music and food event. We start off with public art, that's the art in Do South, and we have Southern guitarists being honored and celebrated on the streets from now, How does that work? Okay, so from Stephen Street to Madison, you will have 30 guitars this size, wow. almost seven feet tall, and each one celebrates a different Southern guitarist. What in the world? 10 in the unvacant lot, and then we have um, also have youth involved. Yeah, and five schools, right? Five schools with 10 guitars, so there's a total of 50 guitars, and all of these artists are um, competing for awards, oh, cash well, awards. There are awards so. involved. Yep. All right. Now, Do South. Give a little background to those who don't know. Do South involves Center for the Arts. And what else? It, it involves, it's the a celebration public. of all things Southern. Gotcha. The art, the music, and the food from the South. So this is celebrating this year the Southern musicians and guitarists that attached our communities through their music. So our theme this year is Strings Attached because we like to be, we're a connected community. We, are we a love connected each other. Community and we have so many great sponsors and we're right here. Yes. We're going to talk about the sculpture in the unvacant lot. We're going to talk a little bit more about the guitars and the planter and the artists. So they're all public artists. Um, the public art is, is an opportunity for artists of all genres to come together and bring their mediums and do something spectacular. So this year we're celebrating Southern guitarists. Um, Speaking of spectacular, Darlene, I think this is the most spectacular Due South that we have ever had. I do not know how y'all do it, but every year it just gets more phenomenal. All right, don't let me cut you off. Go ahead. Thank you. It's, it's about 14 years of working with the same artist and then bringing a new ones into the fold every year, and they have become amazing. Mm -hmm. um, they, they do amazing work. So um, April 4th through the 27th, mm -hmm. we will have the guitars and the public art up. That's 24 7 for show. free. Right. Through the, Roche, through the Roche Show. Okay, the only thing you have to worry about buying tickets for is the concert on April the 20th, which is a Saturday. It's right here in the amphitheater. It's okay. right in the Ritz Amphitheater from 6 to 10 p.m. If you get your tickets online, All there right. are a lot. They're not a lot, but they're, they're less money. So okay. don't wait for the gate. Save your money and buy your tickets online at thomasvillearts.org slash do south. Perfect. And it's beautiful weather, so come out and celebrate your community and all things Southern. Perfect. That was Darlene Taylor with the Center for the Arts, the Public Art Director. Stay with us. We're going to walk right over to the amphitheater and talk with Brandy Avery. She's the Main Street Director. We're right here continuing our interview right beside the amphitheater on this beautiful but windy day and we have Brandy Avery. Welcome Brandy. Thank you. Glad to be here. Well, let's tell the public you are the Main Street Director. Now you're going to give us a little glimpse of what's going on down at the amphitheater in the whole arts district. That's right. So we're very grateful for our partnership with the Thomasville Center for the Arts. They've really done a great job at activating our um, our downtown creative district. Yes, and, don't and bring, yes, that's very important. We are in the downtown, the bottom creative district. That's right? correct. Like from Stevens to Madison and uh -huh. beyond. All right. So there's a partnership between the city of Thomasville and the Center for the Arts, right? That is so correct. So speak to that a little bit for us. Yes. So in order for them to be able to continue to activate this area, they reach out to us for our partnership. To the city. To the city. That is correct. And Our city Main Street office. And Darlene, which is their public arts uh, director, she reaches out to April Norton and I, and she comes in with all these ideas. That's our Darlene. We are just blown away, and we're like, yes, this could work. This is great. Brandy, the guitars are phenomenal all up and down um, Jackson and in the amphitheater. How long will this be up? Throughout the entire month of April. Oh, great. So there's plenty of time. Absolutely. No and we're actually going to tie these into our Row Show and Festival, which is the last weekend of April. That's right. So our theme this year are Melodies Bloom. <gasps> 
so with did you Melody, know that when you started wow that well that kind of helped us with the idea we were like these are too great not to keep up Absolutely. and use what so we really want to showcase them and showcase center for the arts during our rose festival Perfect. We are continuing all the creative opportunities going on for Due South. Today, right now, we are in the garage, the Fuzzy Goat Garage, and we're talking to none other than a hometown creative, Natalie Barfield. Glad to have you. Glad to be here and talk to you guys about my cardboard sculptures that are included as part of Due South. Now tell us, we're gonna, we'll, we'll scan some of these, and some of these are quilts, right? Yes, yeah, so there are three artists in here participating for this exhibit. That includes myself, Natalie Barfield, as well as Emily McKenna, who's done the quilted works here, and Sarah Simmons, whose work is displayed here and on the other side. So a lot of display, is everything for sale? Everything's for sale. Yes. Absolutely, yes. just like life, everything's That's for sale, right, right Price. Dolly Parton is yours. Dolly Parton is mine. That's correct. America's right. hero. Yeah, That's I spent right. a lot of time making with her, making her, and she'll be included as part of this exhibit. Now, give us a little background on how all the cardboard structure came into your eye. So I've done art for a while, and then during the pandemic, when cardboard boxes started stacking up, as we all became aware, I wanted to find something to do with them. As I'm an environmentalist during my nine to five job, and uh, I began assembling sculptures. So I was taking my Amazon boxes, thank you Jeff Bezos, and I was making beautiful pieces of work from them. And you were, but the whole while you were building, you were listening to? That is correct. So while I assemble these sculptures, I like to tuck in and really dig in and get to know the people that I'm building. And that includes painted portraits as well. But while I was making this dolly, I actually listened to an audio book where she talks about the history of each one of her songs and that really helped inspire me as I made this great concert. inspiration and the Almond Brothers any and Willie Nelson wow. Brothers okay. yeah I listened to I think it's Greg Almond's memoir as I was making those and it informed some of the piece so as I was listening to Greg's memoir I learned that he was a motorcyclist so for right. him I gave him biking boots um, he also talked a lot about how he was much taller than his brother <laughs> so I created his sculpture oh, yes, taller did. than his brother so <laughs> I do draw from those memoirs as I'm making the sculptures. Perfect. What a great segue. And being an environmental consultant. During the day, I'm an environmental yes, consultant. But your passion is art. All right. Yes. So what, growing up here, what grabbed your passion about the art and being part of the Creative Arts District? Um, well, growing up here, what probably grabbed my passion the most is characters. I've always grown up around a crazy cast of characters, and that's why No I, names. No names. Everybody's <laughs> safe, but um, I enjoy people that are a little bit different, right? And I think that's what I enjoy about the cardboard as well, is that it, it's not able to be mass-produced or recreated. There's an alchemy that comes with working with recycled and found materials. There's a beauty in the imperfections, right? Just like all Just of like us. All That's of right. Perfect. Yeah. All right. How do I? We're located at the Fuzzy Goat Garage. When are you open? So the exhibit will be going on in Fuzzy Goat Garage, right beside Fuzzy Goat. We'll be opening um, on the first Friday tomorrow, and we'll run through April with public viewings every Saturday in April from 11 to 3 p.m. So every Saturday we can every come Saturday. in. April oh. 4th through the 28th. That's correct. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. This is so exciting. Yeah. And I don't think I don't think Thomas. I don't think we've ever had anything like this particular. That's why you need me. That's yeah. Why exactly. We're glad we have you. Yes. So when do we come? Please come down to the Goat Garage starting April fifth, running through April twenty seventh, every Saturday in April. Perfect. This is so exciting. Yes. Can't wait. I hope you sell everything. But if you do You're purchase, you have to wait. <laughs> right. You have to wait until the end of April. Yes. So everybody to else. Pick up. That's correct. Enjoy. Yeah. Great. Perfect. Thank you, Natalie yes. Barfield. Thank Looking you. forward to this. And we're here in the unvacant lot with Israel Cruz and Wait until you hear Israel's story. Well, welcome, Israel. Hey, hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, uh, I'll be a little bit nervous, but I'm coming here and, and explain everything why I make it here for the community. Yes. So I start making the road like 
couple of months to the last year. Yes, last year. Last year, enero, I started making the project with the guitar. It's just behind. So the that's the planter, the guitar planter, the guitar planter, over in front of the amphitheater. So we'll yes. be able to see that a little later on. All right, and then yes. tell us about your latest sculpture. Uh, and that one is the next uh, sculpture where you make it. The name is uh, Guitar Hero. His name is Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero is where you put it on, okay. and in that building, this project in two hours. And you, it, you built this in yeah, 12 hours. In 12 hours. And, and I'm building this project for the community here for the, for the arts district for the arts. and for the Center for the Arts. Yeah. So now where did, you, where did all these parts come from? Uh, this part is coming for while well, I'm working. I'm welder for 20 years. And that one is the scrap material. Why you, you know, you say no more yes. and, and drop it. So I, I collect the material and, and I make this is couple there for and you community. work for Horse Boilers, right? Horse Boilers, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Horse Boilers is the sponsor for uh, for this. Uh, yes, Horse Boilers sponsor. Yes, yes, yes. And all the time he gave me the opportunity for making this project. And well, we are so grateful for Horse Boiler and Darling yeah. Taylor and you. And look what you have done. It's just phenomenal. We, we just... Uh, we can't wait to showcase this to our community. Thank you, Israel, for okay. coming and explaining to us and just giving us a, a, a creative viewpoint. We're looking forward to next year. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. I hope I'll be here. And, yes. and, and I like help to the community here, and I hope that a lot of people come in here yes. and look in the, yes. the sculptures while you make yes. it. <laughs> it's a beautiful project. Thank you, okay. Israel. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. So many artists and creative involved with the Center for the Arts in Due South. We were fortunate enough to have Israel and talk with Natalie Barfield. So we're so excited about all this and what's happening for our community. So please come out and support the Center for the Arts and all that they're doing for you and for our community. Hey, we never know where we're going to be or what we will be doing, but we do know it will be good. We've nailed that down. <laughs> I'm Carol Kelso, Thomasville today, right here in the center. No, we're not. The unbanked lot. Where are we? So <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been drinking. It's the drugs. Um, how long? Uh, you can use that excuse. Yeah, it's it a... Okay. okay.